Mr. Tallyman, tally me banana. We like crumb and we want go home. Well, we got another atmosphere update because we got another official former update for our nintendo switches so let's get on bitches because we need to update the system so that you can enjoy your custom firmware so basically this is going to be a tutorial video obviously if you have been following my channel so you know what to expect however for new users you can also refer to this video as a first time jailbreak guide before you move on with this tutorial video Make sure to go to the link in the description and check this particular video out. It's all you need to know in order to jailbreak your Nintendo Switches. Alright, so very first thing that you're gonna make sure is you have a proper memory card, obviously, you know, an able sized memory card and then you need to have it formatted to FAT32 or XFAT. You can do it uh, through the Nintendo Switch itself by heading over into the system settings and uh, system followed by formatting options and this is where you can do format micro SD card I'm obviously not gonna do that if you're gonna format your memory card through your devices it's gonna format it to XFAT format so the first and foremost thing that you guys need to make sure is never update your official firmware before updating your custom firmware after making sure of that turn off your Nintendo switches because you obviously need to take your memory card out from here I'm not going to do that because I already have it copied and pasted. I'm just gonna do a USB connection through my switch itself. There is a homebrew app that can be found through the homebrew menu. All you need is a USB-C cable. Now here my Nintendo Switch just showed up. If you double click into the Nintendo Switch, you're going to find the SD card. This is where all the stuff belongs. Now make sure before, like while doing this process, you take your memory cards out because these are system files. It might not get copied and pasted properly, but you're free to do whatever you want. I'm just giving you the safest option. If one of the files do not get copied or pasted properly onto the base root of your SD card, you're gonna run into soft bricking. Now for new users who are jailbreaking for the very first time, you're only gonna get a couple of these folders or whatever. It's not, it's not going to be this extensive. All you have to do is just head over to my Discord and download the latest version of my repack. Disregard the, the title of that repack, download, extract, and then you're going to find the folder and head over into the folder till you come across these set of files and folders. All, all you have to do is just copy them, jump right into the root of your Nintendo Switch's SD card. For existing users, you're going to get the prompt to replace the folder and files for new users you won't be getting this just copy and paste the contents of that folder for the new users you have successfully jailbroken your consoles so congratulations and for existing users go to the second link in the description that's where you're gonna get the offline firmware files it should be firmware version 20.1.0 existing users once you're done copying and pasting the firmware the offline official firmware update files you are safe to disconnect your SD card and put it back into your Nintendo Switches. All right, so we are back onto our Nintendo Switches. Make sure that you have the RCM jig handy. This is what you need. And slide out the right Joy-Con. This is where you're going to slide in the RCM jig. You're going to connect your Nintendo Switches to your computers with the help of a USB-C cable. If the switch turns on, just make sure that you turn it off. Your PCs, Make sure that you have Tegra RCM. You do not need to install it, it just comes in EXE file format. So you just go ahead and just copy and paste it somewhere on your PC. The very first thing that you're gonna do is just click on this folder icon and look for my extracted repack. You're going to select Hecate 6.2.2. That's the latest version of Hecate. Once that's done, you're going to press and hold the volume up and down button of your Nintendo switches and then just press the power button. On the screen, you're going to see it says RCM OK. This is where you're going to inject the payload. Now pay close attention on the switches screen what happens. There you go. That's my repack, baby. That is my repack. All right, so from here, it's smooth sailing. Just go ahead to launch. Since I always prefer SysNAND, there is a different type of NAND, like, you know, if you want to use your Nintendo switches for official games, you need to use MU NAND. Tutorial link should be in the description. Now we are officially on the custom firmware. We're not quite done yet. There's one more step that needs to be performed. All right, 
just disconnect your Nintendo Switch and also slide out your RCM jig and slide in your Joy-Con. Now here we're going to have to do a couple of things. We need to update our official firmware. This is for the existing users only. New users, go ahead, do your bullshit stuffs, you know. Just check out my other content, switch contents on my channel and uh, you will be all good to go. There's plenty of homebrew apps, homebrew games, ports and all of that sort that you guys can like enjoy. So this is for the existing users. This is for the ones who are looking to update their official firmware. Now, if you're gonna head over right now onto your system settings, it says current version is 19.0.1, 1.9.1. So current version of official firmware is 19.0.1 and my AMS version is 1.9.1, which is basically the latest version of custom firmware. Time to update our official firmware. Head over straight into the homebrew menu and you're going to look for Daybreak, Offline, Offline Firmware, Firmware Installation, Installation Software. Software. Hit on Install. Now look for the pasted latest official firmware version, which is 20.1.0. We're just gonna select that. It's gonna take a moment to validate and hit on Continue. Preserve settings. Install FAT32 and XFAT. Continue and let it finish up the process. Okay, so we are almost done. It's applying the update update applied successfully we're just gonna perform a soft reboot don't worry it's you're not gonna have to perform the software like the custom firmware injection process because we just did a soft reboot okay so we're back on our Nintendo switches with the issue resolved now that's a custom theme error it's nothing to worry about I have a separate video linked in the description for that you guys can refer to that if you come across that error however it's a very simple fix now with the custom theme gone and the issue fixed and also with both our custom and official firmware updated let's jump right into the system settings scroll all the way down hit on system under system update it says current version 20.1.0 official switch firmware followed by AMS 1.9.1 which is the which is the updated custom firmware and S refers to SysNand since I'm on SysNand for those who are on Emunand it will refer to E so yeah that's basically it everything is working fine it's all tested so hopefully you found this tutorial helpful if you did make sure to drop in a like and subscribe I'm gonna see you guys on the next one with more contents and yeah Dr. Brute 7 signing off peace